it's four in the morning and today we're heading out to the Floyd the Keys for five days of fishing and we only gonna get one good day of weather the other three days are not gonna be that great so I don't think I'll be able to go deep sea fishing those days but we only have one good day so we gotta take advantage of that day to go deep sea fishing we got another hour and a half it's a total of six hours of driving but the floor of the keys is well worth it Foxy, are you ready for the keys i know you're excited It is 9.56, it is rush traffic. I love this rush traffic here. Just like Orlando. It's just like Orlando, I-4 traffic. Nothing like it. It's a lot of trucks though. Yeah, a lot of trucks. A lot of construction. A lot of construction at the floor of the Keys. This is the lobster we're gonna get later. It's gonna be that big. Today it will be the last day of the season of lobster, so I have to take advantage of that. And the weather's not that great. So I'm gonna have to try to see if I can get some lobster because tomorrow is out of season. Yeah, it's gonna be a little choppy, but I'm gonna try. Our last chance of the last year. Last chance. Right, of the year? No? Yep, last chance of the, no, until August, until I believe. August. They'll open again in August. And then they have mini season, which mini season is a disaster here at Florida the Keys because there's a million people chasing lobsters all over the place. So definitely do not want to be here at mini season because there'll be millions of visitors here just for that. And that's too crowded for me. Yes, I got reservations for the marina. You uh, got reservations for the marina. You're yeah. going to be putting it in and being at, 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 on the wall there, right? Yep. Okay, hold on. Hold on Send them on down. Take care of everything. Thank you, sir. We're here. It's got to go register now. The ocean this side here is kind of rough. 
70 miles per hour winds today. Have some chicken salad that I made at home. Making some sandwiches so we can head out and try to get some lobsters. Foxy's ready to go. Hey, okay, Foxy. You ready? This is her spot. This is where she's happy. All right, now that we took a snack, now we're docked here. We already got water. Look how nice it is. It is awesome. She's taking out the rope. She's heading out. See if we can get some lobsters. Keep going straight towards that area there because I'm gonna I'm gonna tie that up. Clear. It's gonna get a little bumpy. Okay, you want me to take over? Uh oh, it's going like bumpy. When I saw this spot in Google Earth, I came here and I did not see these markers. This is a sanctuary. You're not supposed to do any fishing there. But when I looked, when I was at home, I came here to the sharp water. There was no mark saying that it was a sanctuary. I don't know why it didn't come up, but now I see it here. So definitely I cannot fish here. Not permitted it. Or lobstering, because that's what I came for. Alright, I have to go back. Going back slow because there's about close to three foot wave side wave. Let's 
she got tired of the movement of the waves. And I'm just here piloting until I get there. Got a couple more miles to go back. Yeah, I really wanted to go there, but anyway, it's really rough. Even if I was allowed to lobster there. All right, so now I'm under the bridge and I'm trying to fish here, right next to the pilot here. Let's see if we can catch dinner here. I got one here. This is 11 and a half inches. Alright, doing good. We already got dinner. If I can get back into the shade. I'm using the Minkota to get inside the bridge. Nothing yet? Little bites are not that good. What do you call that? Lazy fishing. I mean, she calls that lazy fishing because she's sitting down with the fishing rod right in the holder. three mangrove snappers and that's going to be our dinner today. Can I have a plate? Can I have a cutting board? But I don't want to take it out just for three fish. The less I clean, the better. Okay, so now 
gonna take this spinal right here. Beautiful. I'm gonna batter this fish. And fry it. Alright, we got all the fillets. Beautiful fillets. I'm gonna batter this for dinner. Some avocados. Avocados. We need to eat this one today. All right. Okay, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna heat up the rice. All right. We got some black rice, which we call it arroz con gris, for all people that don't know what black this is. Beans. Black beans and rice. We're gonna heat it up in the deep fryer here, and then we're gonna start frying right here in the same deep fryer. And since we took a shower, we're drying the curtain so we can put it away. It's all multi-purpose. All right, so we're gonna put a little bit of oil here. Okay, that's it. Vessel Haley, level 12, channel 12. All right, so now we're gonna put... It's awesome. Okay, it's hot already. White rice and black beans, which it makes it brown rice. Okay, so the rice is already cooked. You just gotta heat it up really good with a little bit of oil. All right, let's get to the fish. Okay, so what do you need from here? Beautiful fillets. Here's an egg. See the egg don't fall. You're supposed to put it in there first. Fillets of mangrove snapper just caught about 30 40 minutes ago. This is not a technique I would do at home either, but I'm just trying to figure out how I can do this here. Very good. You need another plate? That looks beautiful. You have a awesome suntan right there on your arm. I got burnt fishing and I didn't get one fish. Alright, we're going to put some of the fillets into the pan. Beautiful. You can put three, three, three days at a time. All right, perfect. Flip those later. So three and three. Three and three, yep. Clean up the non nine here, please. I don't think they're ready to be split. They're a little golden. They're not ready to be split. Yeah, they're good. Yeah. Yep, that looks fun. Got this off. Beautiful. Mm. A little batter what? Yep, that batter, love that batter. Mm -hmm. 
Look at that sunset golden. I like it. Mm, yummy. Sun is gonna set late. I think close to eight o'clock the sunset. So hopefully we can go, we can eat and we can go to the bridge. We want to walk up to that bridge and hopefully see the sunset from up there. But we have about an hour to do all that. Let's see if we can do it. Oh, it's a surprise. Ooh, looks good. Ooh, looks very nice. How many do you want? Give me three and three for you. I think two might be enough. I don't know. All right, let's try to see how this tastes like. Look at that. Beautiful. Mmm, tastes really good. Mango snapper has a great flavor. I think it's the first time I get mango snapper by the bridge. All right, now that we've finished eating, we're gonna go to the big bridge and watch the sunset. But first, we're gonna have to dock the boat. Can you clear the deck? Clear. Don't steal my line. Clear. Crop clear. No, don't steal my line. <laughs> Can't be stealing my line. You got too many lines. Rob, clear. Check in the back, see if everything is good. Everything is set back there? No, no, no. Alright, clear. So I got power on the boat ready. Got the air conditioner running. We're gonna go for a walk. Where is he? 
Sí, sí, me alegro de lo disfrutaron estos estos días. Tremendo, tremendo. Gracias muchachos, cuídense. Sí, y un placer conocerlo. Cuídense. It's the highest point here. Sounds like they're killing a cow down there. I think it's one of those horns. All right, so how was your first day? Awesome. Wasn't it exhausting? Yes. All the work we did to be here? Yes, it was. I'm, I still haven't slept anything. I only slept one hour. I slept two hours. Yeah, so I need to sleep. I know tonight I'm going to say I don't want to get up early. No need to Definitely. get up early. I'm on vacation. I want to sleep in a little bit. Are you supposed to be crew? Crew is never on vacation. So it's a captain. I'm not crew. Yes, you're crew. And I'm captain. We never oh. take vacation. <laughs> We're always on deck. Working. We never stop. Yeah, we're always working. Working to enjoy. See, a lot of people think this boat. is uh, just hop on the boat and just everything is there. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. Fun. It's a lot of work to be here and have all the preparations of food, engines, all the stuff. Yeah. But at the end, it's worth it. Yep, it's worth it. So this is our day number one. Hopefully yes. tomorrow it's gonna be good weather. At least we got fish. Yep. We didn't get lobster, but we got fish. No, no lobster. Foxy's having fun. <laughs> Alright, I'm making some coffee. And look at this pastry my family from Homestead gave us. We stopped by the house and they gave us guava pastries all kinds of pastries thank you that was very nice and this is how I put my curtains at nighttime because we're in a marina so people do walk around the marina sometimes so I put this thick material around the windows and that way nobody can see in all right we're exhausted I'm gonna go drink some coffee so I can relax a little bit eat some pastry and then probably just watch a movie now and get knocked out till tomorrow morning because I'm exhausted we only said an hour or two of sleep last night and we're tired all right we're gonna get some rest now and we'll continue this trip in the next video